G'day mates, it's no secret by now, I've been working on making the best possible gaming setup, finding just the perfect balance between aesthetics, functionality, comfortability, and today we are one step closer. I present to you the Ajax AK820. This is how the video was supposed to go, but unfortunately, it took a different turn. Here is why. I feel it's my duty as a tech enthusiast and content creator to give you an honest and unbiased review. Whether the, I pay for the product myself or a brand decides to send me one for free. On par with that, I test products before recording a video review. So I know what I'm talking about right let's jump into why i picked this keyboard and at the end i will let you know the reason why i cannot recommend it as well at least not yet if you learn anything valuable in this video make sure that you watch until the end like subscribe and let me know in the comment section if you agree with my opinion or if you're thinking about picking that up this keyboard you can either use it wired with Bluetooth or wirelessly with the provided dongle. It supports Windows and Mac. Yes, I want to incorporate my MacBook Pro in the setup, it's been a long time coming. It's quiet, but it still sounds great. It has a small built-in screen that shows info like battery percentage and which device is connected to. Last but not least, it's hot swappable. Why is it important to have a hot swappable keyboard these days? Customization. Make sure you use the thumbs up or the thumbs down to let me know how I'm doing. And if this video interests you or you prefer other type of content, make sure you subscribe, you like the video, and watch until the end. It comes with a kick up and switch puller in the box alongside a USB-C. Build quality is decent. The external case is of hard plastic and it has double shot PBT, non-see-through hiccups. The phone looks okay. Now, before I forget, Let's go and have a listen on how this keyboard sounds. Spot alert, creamy, but not too clucky. Let's hear it. Overall, it's a good quality price product. So why can't I recommend it? Software and firmware. The software has a very standard look, but some of the RGB lighting effects do not work. And mostly, many, many times when you type, even with minimal force, the key registers multiple clicks and you find yourself with 10, 15 extra letters that you didn't ask for and the ones you asked for are not registered. It happened both in Bluetooth mode and Y mode. I tried to update the firmware and the software says it's updated. This alone, in my opinion, makes this keyboard unusable and a waste of money. If this issue is fixed in the future, I will update the video description. If you like this video, I'm sure you will like one of these videos next. Until next time, guru mates.